Okay, uh, students and, and subscribers, today we're going to, on uh, Where Are They Now channel, we're going to be creating a deer antler necklaces. So this deer antler that we got, we found a deer shed and we sliced it up in little pendant style size uh, antlers using a saw. So anybody can do that at home if you have a saw, even a hacksaw would work, It'd take a lot more time. But when you're cutting antlers, always make sure you wear a mask because it's really smelly and then it kind of hurts the lungs a little bit. So make sure that when you do it, you wear a mask or a well ventilated area. And Mr. Bird Cameron beside me helping me here. As you can see with the antler, you get different variety shapes of different different sizes. So each classroom will be getting a kit that like this that we just opened up. And with that, we're going to be able to design our our necklaces, whether it's a gift for our moms or sisters, kids, don't matter. It's up to you who you want to give it to. So each class, each student will get a kit. So first of all, you're going to want to start but what I'm, we're going to do is going to make our designs first. Uh, Mr. Bird here will be uh, drawing his, and mine, I will be cutting out a little uh, symbol artwork from a page. So we're going to work on that, cut it out, and then I'm going to glue it on here. Okay, so I decided I'm going to go with this little wolf symbol. I don't know if the camera could pick it up here or not. So I'm just going to cut it out. My bees been rolling off. I'm just gonna cut loosely around the moon and the wolf. Leave a little bit on the edge. Okay. So now I'm gonna glue it onto my antler. As you see, Mr. Cameron here is using a stencil a ruler here and he's drawing a little design on his, it looks like a medicine wheel. So I'll take some stick glue, I'm sure any glue will work, white glue, stick glue, gorilla glue. The symbol in there so we can add color to that now or we can, I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit I'm gonna add a little bit of color to the necklace as well we're using markers today but we can use paints I, um, what kind of paints will probably work the best uh, maybe an acrylic acrylic paints yeah I don't think water based watercolors will work because they'll probably uh, run off when we spray with our spray at the end hmm. so probably acrylic would be best or permanent markers okay so I put some color to my necklace my pendant and you see I put the four Colors. I didn't have a white marker, but with the paints, we'll probably be able to get white on there. So I'm just going to leave it blank colored. And um, with the uh, Cree people, we, the medicine wheel, we use the color blue, whereas the Dakota people, the Sioux people, they use the black where the blue is. Either way is correct. It's just, I'm more the blue here, but on the paper, you see the medicine wheel we have is black. Mr. Cam Bird here finished coloring his now. So the next step we're going to do right now is we're going to go spray the ander down with this chemical here, with this gloss. This will secure the color in. The only thing we got to make sure that we take it outside to spray. It is corrosive and poisonous, so we'll make sure one of the staff will do it for you guys. It's called Professional Clear Finish Gloss. It'll keep our antlers from running and getting rubbed off. It'll just a quick... Okay, now we're going we're gonna to spray the first side of it. Let it dry a few seconds, we're gonna have to flip it over. You can see the marker is running a little bit already. Maybe the paint might be a better idea, but if we do it quicker, it should be good. The key is not getting that paper or, paper or sticker to move. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna take it back in and work on our chains on the necklace. Okay, so uh, we went and sprayed it with varathane or, yeah, varathane. Let it dry a little bit. We had, my sticker fell off, so I put a little tape to hold it on and some more glue. Now we're gonna work on the necklace part. You can do whatever which way you want, but the way I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my string through the hole here. 
measured off about halfway. Then I'm going to take one pony bead and put both ends through it. Good. This wood bead here. I push both ends through it, bring it down to the top of the necklace to hold it in place. Okay, just like that, right down. And you're gonna adjust it to the, where you want it to hang. Next, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put beads on each side of the necklace, much as you want. I'm probably gonna go with uh, color coded little blue and white colors. Probably about six or seven beads. So I'm gonna start with one side and I'm gonna go two blue and one white as a color pattern. Don't know why, I just like blue and white. You can use any colors you want, you can use every color, you can use the different styles of beads we're giving each classroom. So I'm gonna put five beads like this. I'm gonna push it down. Then the last bead, I'm just gonna put it through once, then I'm gonna wrap it around, put it through again to hold, give it a more secured top bead there. So the beads will go up and down. When I'm, then I'm just gonna slide it down to the next one. It's kind of hard, there's a little pressure on it, but it does go down. And then that top bead holds it in place. So I'm gonna do that to the exact same as the other side too. Okay, so you see I matched the sides up color, color wise. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did the last one, double loop through. Pull it down till it's tight. There you have my deer, white tail deer antler necklace. Got a little wolf design on there, some pony beads. You can uh, do whatever design you want. The camera's here, you can double beads on top, as you can see. Give it a bit better, a bit more creative than I am, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so you can choose them all the beads, make your own, your own style, you can go all the way around the beads if you want, or you can just go one bead, it's up to you. But I do suggest the one for sure to hold it tight against the bottom there. And that's basically all you gotta do for a necklace. For okay, just uh, a note, that, the end here. This little antler here would have worked for earrings. You would just take a saw and you would uh, cut little strips through it. it. That's what we did with this with the one we used there, but it was a bigger antler. Okay, just take a saw, cut down. Make sure if you are cutting it to be safe for rattles and uh, wear a mask. Hey,